It was definitely different. Alright. So, who are we gonna go with? I think we go Teresa. I think we go Deputy. And I think we go Glow Up. Because I believe in the randomizer, Steven is always going to have his team. Oh. Oh, he's going to be handicapping us, kind of. Because we're going to be super high leveled. And the... the... Oh. Yeah, he's going to be low. What's going on guys welcome back to another episode of the pokemon emerald extreme randomized nuzlocke in the previous episode um we did a lots and lots of grinding and we went over uh what changes we had with our team and we went through started fighting the gym here and because my controller disconnected and we had to reset the emulator um we are currently in the middle of our battle against Tate and Liza. I think we knocked out one Pokemon as we can kind of see. I think we only knocked out one. Um, so we still have plenty of gym battle left. Uh, I just healed up a burn on our Milotic. Um, and then I believe we're going to go for Surf. So, because Ditto's going to get healed. That was, yeah, that was what we are doing. And then I was going for Surf because this should kill the Banette regardless um, because I'm pretty sure it healed up with a berry that it ate or something like that. So, two mons down. Uh, four more to go. What do we got here? Gyarados. Okay, level 50. But it is, in fact, a level 50. Um, I could Bumerang it. Or, what I could do, I could Rock Throw here. I could Rock Throw an Icy Wind. I think that's the play. We want the Gyarados to be slower than us. With Deputy, at least. And if Ditto is, in fact, a flying type, which we figured out that it is, because it is um, immune to Bone Ring. Okay, so Icy Wind also did nothing to the Gyarados. So either it's, like, it's resisted or it's quad resisted. Ditto's going to go down. I probably actually could have kept the Ditto around for the entirety of the battle. It probably actually would have been a smarter idea because I know he only is going to have Heat Wave. As opposed to dealing with this Polyrath here. Um, eh, I don't know if I should swap. I should probably actually heal, to be honest. At least heal up with Deputy's turn. I think that would make some sense. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Um, and then I'm running low on surfs. I mean, we're going to go for it. it. Does nothing to Polyrath, but it is super effective on Gyarados. That does nothing, though. And it goes for T-Wave. Are you an electric type Polyrath? Okay, so my Lotus speed is really getting lowered here. Um... That might have been a stab. Uh, Rock Tomb just now. But I'm gonna Bone Meringue here. I'm gonna Icy Wind once again. It went for a T. Oh yeah, because I'm a, I'm a ground type. I don't know why I would go for T Wave again though. Why would it not go for an attack, attacking move? Okay, so it Rock Tomb Deputy, which Kind of made the point of going for Icy Wind a little bit pointless. Also, it doesn't. It has an ability to w make it where its speed didn't drop. I don't know if you just saw that. It might be locked in. It might be holding like a choice item because it is. It's just going for Thunder Wave. Bumerang is going to kill with a crit. I'm probably going to need to Bumerang that Gyarados as well. As it went for an overheat. 
but it's okay because my little deck is super specially bulky. Um, Reggie Rock. Ooh. Okay, Reggie Rock is gonna be slow as it is. It isn't lowering either one of their speeds. That's weird. Because it always lowers speed, so I'm trying to figure out why that's the case. I almost want to swap. But I know, I think Regirock is a fighting type, so like, it wouldn't make sense. And also Gyarados is like minus two special attack, so I feel like I should just stay in. Maybe I zap cannon the Regirock. Cause that's not gonna do anything unless it crits, so. Which doesn't do anything. Okay, Bumerang is gonna kill the Gyarados. Perfect, so now we're in a two on one situation on the field. We still have all of our team members, which is good for us. Ooh, going for withdrawal. I hope I land this half cannon. I don't. Maybe what I should do? Oh, the mist was up. That's why. That's why I wasn't lowering their speed. Wow. Big brain plays. All right, maybe what I should do here is... Do I have Paralyzed Deal? No, but I think I have some Cherry Berries still. Yes, I do. I have two more. I'm going to Cherry Berry up, Glow Up. And honestly, I'm going to Mind Reader. That was Surf. That was just not Mind Reader at all. Yep, that does nothing. Because that was not the move I wanted to go for. Because if it's Withdrawing, it's giving me the idea that this thing is a Water type. And if it is a Water type, I think I'd kill with a Zap Cannon. I'm actually fairly confident I'd kill the, with the Zap Cannon. But I also don't want to miss, because I... Oh, no, I have three more. Fuck it. Let's go for it. It's got Scratch. Wow. Okay, I'm gonna... Stun Spore. And I guess we'll Mind Reader. I, seeing that it went for scratch of all moves makes me think that this thing doesn't have any sort of good moves on it. Um, Bone Meringue. We have one more Bone Meringue. So if Zap Cannon for some reason just does not kill, we should be able to finish it off with a Bone Meringue. It wasn't super effective. And it resists Bone Meringue too. Huh. Is it a grass type? Is it a grass type? What typing is this thing? I don't know. I need to swap though into, I think I gotta go Tusker here. The Icy Wind still just didn't lower speed. I don't, I don't get it. Okay, Reggie Ice or Reggie Rock, sorry, is paralyzed. Um, do I go for Share Cold? Nah, I think I just click. I think I click Rock Blast and Icy Wind. I should have Share Cold it. I didn't think she was gonna heal again. I didn't know they had three healing items. No, it did lower its speed. I'm just stupid then. Cause yeah, that's not gonna do anything. We got the five hits, which is cool, but I need a line to sheer cold. Do you think if I mind reader and sheer cold? Oh, never mind. Tusker outsped. Oh, because no, I got rock tuned to blow up. That's why I outsped. Never mind. 
I kind of find it funny that we have sheer cold on a wall ring because it normally learns sheer cold. <laughs> we had 20,000? Holy fuck. Alright, seventh gym badge got. Let's us use the HM of Dive outside of battle. TM04, which is normally Calm Mind, is going to be what? Perish Song. I mean, that'd be great if we had something with Shadow Tag. That'd be great if we had something with Shadow Tag or Arena Trap. Because we would be able to keep it in until it gets down to one, and then we could swap out, but they wouldn't be able to swap out. Dead. That'd be pretty queasy. All right, do we want to keep leading Deputy and let him try to get the 60 first? I mean, I think Deputy can kind of handle himself, so I think what we'll do is we'll let these two go, because I'm confident with these three, Bruce, Glow Up, and Teresa, that they can handle themselves. So, now the question is, do we go to the Moss Deep Space Center now? Because I don't think we get Dive just yet. Yeah, no, we don't get Dive until we do the Moss Deep Space Center stuff, I believe. Yeah, looks like, looks like that. I mean, the thing is, is that this should be so unbelievably easy. I'm pretty sure their levels are so low. Like, we should smack, like, everything in here. Like, I think their levels are low enough to where, like, they're not going to have fully evolved stuff. Yeah, like, 37. I'm 57, so. See you later. I get to do that double battle with Steven. I just realized that. Caterpie. Listen, Caterpie, I know you get Drizzle. So, there is the plus side. If you had Hydro Cannon, I would love to see a Hydro Cannon from a Caterpie onto my Caesar and see if it would kill. I don't think it would, but it definitely would be something interesting definitely possible i know they did something kind of like this in oras but it would have been nice if they like i feel like this should have just been a canon event in all right buddy i only have one more Cherry berry, and you're over here pissing me off. Pissing me off with the paralysis and bullshit like that. But um, I thought it would, I thought it would be pretty cool if they like included the space center, like just in the story initially, where it's like, okay, you took down our base. You know, this is what we're we're going after. I guess maybe that might be too much like evil team admin or evil team stuff. Maybe. But also at the same time, I don't know. I feel like I would take that nowadays because I feel like a lot of the evil teams, at least the last couple of generations, the evil teams have kind of sucked. And maybe this is just like nostalgia old man yelling at cloud type moment but <sighs> like generation seven you had team skull which was an evil team evil team organization and then you found out that the aether foundation was also kind of an evil team organization like it they were both kind of in like they were working together like that was something that was cool and i thought worked out really well but then you get into sword and shield and you know i constantly hate bagging on sword and shield because i feel like everyone has done that to death as it is but 
Team Yell was not really a good evil team. They were essentially cheerleaders um, for Marnie. And even then, they weren't really an evil team. It was, you know, uh, Chairman Rose and Oleana and all of them. Like, they were the real evil team. And after, you know, having that in the previous generation, it just kind of felt like something that was not really surprising. Like, I'm pretty sure when I first played Sword and Shield and I saw Chairman Rose, I'm like, that guy's gonna play some sort of important part in the story. Like, I, I could just tell, just by his look and, you know, whatever. And then Generation 9, I mean, Team Star... didn't really feel like the evil team and even then like i remember kind of and i say kind of because i'm thinking about you know how things were at the time i remember with the early part of scarlet and violet it was like people were saying oh my god like the professor blah 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 like evil it was the professor was evil you know you fight them at the end of the game and i'm just like Really, how does that, you know, tie off? Speaking of Scarlet, right here, Scarlet and Violet with the Sarskit. I was to say, well, live it is resisted, but I'm 20 levels higher, so no, it will not. But when you kind of read up on the story, it's like they weren't evil. I mean, it was always kind of, like, weird because it's like you got Arvin, who is your friend in school, and you see his situation, and it's a complicated situation. But they never really were, like, out and out evil. Not to mention, like, they were AI. Because the real professor had been killed in an accident. Like, that's... That was actually, like... I thought that was interesting. It was very shocking, kind of sad, especially the first time you pl I played it through, but it's definitely cool to, it was definitely different. All right, so who are we gonna go with? I think we go Teresa, I think we go Deputy, and I think we go Glow Up. Because I believe in the randomizer, Steven is always going to have his team. Oh. Oh, he's going to be handicapping us, kind of. Because we're going to be super high leveled. And the... the... Oh. Yeah, he's going to be low. Okay, Kingdra, we know, is stealing fire. I kind of want to keep the uh, Kingdra around. I want to get rid of that Cradilly. Are you weak to flying? You aren't weak to flying, but you're not a flying type. Desire on... I'm guessing the Metagross? Not for light screen? Okay. My guess is that the... Steven's team is just going to have the exact same moveset. Like, it's not able to be changed in the randomizer, regardless. Um, so... Light screen, that's super duper good for us, actually. I'm going to drill pick again i think i think that's a play yeah because like i said i can bully down that kingdra side i have hydro pump that will 100 percent kill this thing beedra i think the only thing that's going to be different about steven's team is the fact that his mons typings will be randomized but i don't think move sets or anything like that he's not going to be randomized So B drill, that's easy. Pretty sure that's the ace right there is 52. Never mind, it's this Redicate. 53. Which is higher than Tate and Liza. By a 
pretty interesting amount, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, that was, Doom Desire was on me? Oh, Kingdra. You're gonna regret that, pal, because I killed this Radicate. And you're toast. You are toast, my friend. Yeah, because, like I said, I don't think his moveset does not get randomized whatsoever. Um, but the fact that we were able to kill Maxi's team rather easily, we're fine. Quick attack does nothing. I'm hydro pumping this fucking Kingdra. Get out of here. See, bye. 952. What else you got? Agron, you are Dragon and Ice. 46. I want to say that's probably your highest level. Um, I Meteor Mash this thing. I know it's got good physical defense, but it is not taking a Meteor Mash from me because I'm five levels higher. Five levels higher? Nine levels higher. And I got a good physical. Ooh, I take back what I said. If this Matang goes for Metal Claw, it's paralyzed. Never mind. If it went for Metal Claw, I think it could have killed Agra. Um, it definitely would have been close. Yeah, you're not healing. You're not healing that Agra, buddy. I'm not getting, letting you get the chance. Not letting you get the chance. It'd be crazy if we see Steven's mod level up. Okay, Ludico. 48. What was this thing? Why the hell did you lead up with the 43 and then go to 46 and 48? At least Maxi's made sense. It was 50, 52, and 53. This man had a 43, a 46, and a 48. Shadow Ball? That's not doing anything. Dude. I cannot stress enough how big this T-Tar has been for this Nuzlocke. She has literally smashed everything. This man, that man said that was way too tense. I mean, to be honest, as a steel type trainer fighting against some fire types, that do that do be the case, you know. All right. So with the time that we have remaining in this episode, I'm gonna teach dive to B drill. Then we're gonna go to the routes of the C4 cavern, which is Route 127. I wanna say. I think it's Route 127. We're gonna go there, and then we're gonna see if we can get a seafloor cavern encounter. Um, I hope it's just something decent. Something that I can catch. Otherwise, I'm not gonna bother. Because like I said, I got the Master Ball. Literally, once we're done with all the stuff that happens with Kyogre and Groudon, and then Rayquaza showing up and all that, we're going straight to the Sky Pillar. We're going to go and catch ourselves whatever Rayquaza is randomized to be. I just hope to God that the randomizer is actually, like, right in, in this game. Oh, you know what I should do, actually? Here's what I'm going to do. Oh, I didn't teach die, the dummy. Dummy. Stupid dumb dumb head. Alright, we're going to... Go ahead and go for dive, and we're gonna give that to Sting. I'm gonna be smart about this. You can technically get an encounter here in the underwater. I will save that. We also still have Sutopolis as well. 
But I'm doing this specifically so I can get the fly spot. I don't think I need to go inside, but I'm going to do it regardless. And I'm speeding up just to make this a little bit quicker. But yeah. Um, go ahead and use another repel. This should last us literally to the end of the game. So when we go to Sky Pillar, it should be a piece of cake for us to get through there because the levels for everything that we see, it should not affect us. Or no, it's a 128. I think it is 128. Never mind. It's a 127. I think 128 is actually the right number because, yeah, it's right here. Okay. Alright, so we are here in the seafloor cavern. I'm going to fish. And since we are leading with Deputy, we do have Stun Spore on him. So this is good for us. I'll take that. I will take that. I'm probably not going to use it. But that's fine. Because in our Pokemon Suite Love Lock, which I don't know what episode we're on when this video is going out, but um, where I'm re at in recording right now, we're technically using a Cubone, Marowak in that game. The Q-Pop and the Lollywhack. So... And I have a soft spot for this Pokemon, especially after playing Let's Go and seeing the Pokemon Tower cutscene. I feel like I said that before, but that that's always going to be a touching cutscene when you see it in 3D and whatnot. Because I feel like it doesn't carry the same weight in the 2D games unless you read the dialogue which not a lot of people um, read the dialogues. Read read the dialogues. Damn, plural. I don't know why. All right, so we're going to go ahead and wrap up this episode here. Next episode is going to be pretty much us going through the entirety of the seafloor cavern. I'd be surprised if we get through the entirety of this, get to Sutopolis, do all that stuff, and then... Do the sky but i'd be surprised if in the next episode we clear out all the stuff to get ready to go and see break ways on but that is the plan either way if you guys enjoyed make sure you hit that like button down below because we greatly appreciate it and i will see you guys in the next episode peace out